Welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss some questions that are from the foundation module of first year MBBS. Let's get started. Starting with the first question, which is about the embryology. This is Mrs. Ali was very much worried about the site of implantation of her embryo as he had previous, she had previous ectopic pregnancy, which ends up with termination, which is the normal site of implantation. The normal site of implantation occurs in the body of the uterus, while the ectopic could be in the fallopian tube or in the cervix or the uterus or the vagina. Question 2 is about the group of histology and maybe a student was preparing for the histological section visualizing the feature of the cell under the mic electron microscope. Which of the following organelles shows increased as a fields? A is the correct answer which is a RER -E endoplasmic reticulum because the endoplasmic reticulum has a protein attached to it the protein are uh, basically absorb hematoxylin or which is a purple or we say blue bluish in color so and gives basophil's appearance on microscope question number three rancidity of lipids of lipid rich food is just because of now here this is the is the oxidation of fatty acid so rancidity is very process of process uh, in in the fatty acid due to the oxidation of fatty acid they produce very foul smelling small smell in the fatty acid when they are present when they are placed in an open environment this is due to oxidation so density refers to oxidation of fatty acids which one of the following cells in the epidermis initiate an immune response against pathogens and cancer cells number a melanocytes number b Merkel cells number c langerhans cells number d keratinocytes number e pickle cells So it's going to be the Langerhorn cells because Langerhorn cells are the histiocytes or we say part of the reticular endothelial system. They are the macrophages, tissue macrophages present in the skin. They die the phagocytose, the antigen in present in the skin and causing immune response. So number five is about the child suffering from the seizure muscle weakness and autism like feature. His diagnosis is suffering from the mitochondrial disease. Doctor said that this is due to the genetic or in origin and is transmitted by female because Number A one does not receive a sperm mitochondria at the fertilization. Mitochondria. So B is about mitochondria in male are of paternal origin. C is about the male mitochondria are never abnormal. D all mitochondrial diseases are autosomal dominant. E mitochondria of O does not take part in fertilization. The option for the number five is going to be A because the ovum does not receive a sperm mitochondria at fertilization. Because its mitochondria is in maternal in origin and is present in only in the oocyte or we say ovum cells and not present in the sperm cells that's why the mitochondrial disease are transmitted by female only number six a patient with history of bloating vomiting and diarrhea after he attended a pizza party what is the probable diagnosis number a irritable bowel syndrome number b gastroenteritis lactose intolerance lactulose deficiency or cheese allergy This is a cheese allergy, which is number E is correct because the pizza is here is a clue that has a cheese very there's a cheese in it. So the person is probably having a cheese allergy that causes these symptoms, bloating vomiting. Number seven, the three major lipid components of animal cell membrane are triglycerol, free fatty acids, and cholesterol, glycolipids, prostaglandin, and cholesterol esters, phospholipids, dialicol and free fatty acids, triglycerols, phospholipid, and cholesterol esters, phospholipids, spongolipid, and cholesterol esters. Number seven is going to be the D answer because the cell membrane or the cell membrane, animal cell membrane, majority component are the triglycerols, phospholipids, and cholesterol esters. No free fatty acids are present. Moving toward the eight, the genesis of the resting membrane potential primarily depends on active transport of sodium ions inside the cell, operation of sodium potassium pump, inward movement of calcium ions, passive leakage of potassium ions outside the cell, trapping of protein ions inside the cell. This is going to be the D answer because the RMP is produced by four processes basically. Number one is the passive leakage of potassium ion outside the cell. Number second is the passive leakage of sodium ions inside the cell. Number third is due to the operation of sodium potassium pump. And number fourth is due to the protein in the intracellular or intracellular fluid. The protein has a negative charge. But the majority, the, nine, the major part of the RMP is donated by the passive leakage of potassium ion, which is equals to minus 94 millivolt. Moving towards the nine, a five year young boy is suffering from acute diarrhea due to ingestion and hygienic food items in this clinical condition, which may not can be used for a treatment purpose. 
नंबर एक क्लोराइड बी सोडियम सी जिंक डी कॉपर और ई मैग्नीशियम करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज द बी सोडियम एंड एच आई आइन इज गिवन इन द डायरिया पर्सन बिकॉज ड्यू टू द डिफिशियंसी और ड्यू टू ड्यू टू द डिहाइड्रेशन दैट इज कॉज बाय द डायरिया Moving to word number ten, this is about that the sugars that differ in concentration are only one single asymmetric carbon atoms are a zero isomers, optical isomers, anomers, epimers, or polymers. This is epimers because they are differing only one asymmetric carbon atom, such as d glucose and d galactose, which are which differs in the carbon number four only. Moving to word eleven, first year during practical test, look for the which one of the following cell organ is not bounded by the membrane. Peroxisomes, lysosomes, mitochondria, centrioles, endoplasmic reticulum. Correct option is going to be the centrioles because centrioles are not bounded by the cell membrane. Twelve is about the twelve thirty-five year old woman reports dysuria and other symptoms of urinary UTI. Gram stain of urine reveals gram positive foci, which one of the following bacterial structure determines the gram negative character or gram staining character? Number of mesosomes, cell wall, pili, capsules, or phage flagella. This is going to be the cell wall because cell wall defines the gram staining. Number thirteen is about muscle which initiates movement, remains active, constantly is called as agonist, fixator, antagonist, flexor, or synergistic. So number A agonist is going to be the factor answer because the agonist initiates movement and is active in, during the entire exercise. Number fourteen is positive feedback serves to activate negative feedback, reverse the changes, amplify the changes. Activate feed forward mechanism has no effect on the initial change. Number C is going to be the correct answer because positive positive feedback serves to amplify the changes. Basically, the changes that causes the stimulus and the response also causes the amplification of that change or that stimulus. Number fourteen, a fifty-five year old man has thirty year of history of oral control diabetes mellitus. He had excessive black discoloration of the skin and soft tissue of the right foot. Which are the following pathological abnormalities? Gangrene, cavitation, vasculitis, neoplasia, hemocytosis. The option is going to be gangrene because person is having diabetes, which is a risk risk factor, and there is also with black discoloration of the right foot, which is characteristic feature of the gangrene as necrosis. Question number sixteen is about the metabolism of drugs. Phase one met drug metabolic reaction include oxidation, methylation, conjugation, acetylation, glucuronidation. So phase one metabolic includes oxidation only while phase two includes conjugation reactions now 17 minimum number of carbon required for an adult sugar to have a cyclic structure 6 3 4 3 and 4 and 5 so 3 num 3 is the minimum number of carbon atoms that requires to form a cyclic structure Number eighteen is about the thirty-five year old lady working in a radiology department to change her duty in persecution as she is precaution as she is pregnant and aware of birth defects due to ionization radiation, which are the following periods potentially sensitive regarding development and defects: three to eight weeks, three first to second week, four to tenth week, third to tenth fourth week, fourth to fifth week. So the correct answer is going to be the A one because the three to eight week is basically susceptible is a susceptible. Period of embryonic development that can be caused by the that teratogenic effects are mostly seen in this period. Nineteen, nineteen is about the autopsy of a uh, ovary of newborn baby shows us at two sites in which phase of cell division. Pro number A, pro phase of meiosis one. B, beta phase of meiosis. C, interphase two. D, beta phase of meiosis one. E, pro phase of meiosis two. Correct option is A because at the time of an Birth of a newborn baby, the oocytes contain or the ovary contain the oocytes in the prophase of meiosis one. While after ovulation, these are they completed first their first division and terminate in the meta phase of meiosis two. Number twenty is about young female suffering from heart failure and cardiomyopathy. She also has muscle weakness and liver is enlarged. She is diagnosed with a case of lysosomal surgery. What is the best effect in this disease? Accumulation of specific substances in the lysosome, failure of lysosome to break down specific substances, overactivity of various lysosomal enzymes, enlargement dysfunction of certain organs, defect or deficiency of specific lysosomal enzymes. E is going to be correct answer because in lysosomal structural disease there is a defect or deficiency of deficiency of a specific lysosomal enzyme. Twenty one is about the route of administration which bypass the first met pass hepatic metabolism includes. Main route of administration which bypasses the first 
pass hepatic metabolism. These include subcutaneous, abdominal, intravenous, oral, or subliquid. The correct option is going to be the intravenous because intravenous directly injects or injects the drug into the systemic circulation other than transfer terminal or subcutaneous oral in which there is a passage of a drug through hep hepatocytes or is a liver that causes metabolism of drug. 22 a young boy aged 19 year old complaining of fever tibia pain at the right shoulder region of the of fall from her he is unable to carry pocket which are not the following long one is responsible by transmission from appendicular to axial skeleton femur humerus clavicle radius ulna correct option is going to be the clavicle because clavicle bones attach the shoulder guided, guided to the axial skeleton via clavicle now 23 is about the baby which was born with the focomelia to a mother who gave history of taking some medication during early months of pregnancy which of the following can cause drug can cause such type of deformities tetracycline lead paracetamol thalidomide valproic acid thalidomide is basically a drug which is used in the pregnant woman to relieve from the morning sickness so this is a basically major Teratogen, teratogenic drug that can cause teratogenes. So number 24 is about that the cellulose cannot digest by human body because human cannot break down the beta 1 4 glycosidic alpha 1 4 6 glycosidic alpha 1 4 glycosidic ester linkage or peptide linkage. So it's going to be the answer because cellulose contain beta 1 4 glycosidic linkage. 25 a boy which while fixing the screw of his bike performs spination pronation on which one of the following joint is active during these moments knee joint shoulder joint wrist joint elbow joint or radial nerve joint supination pronation occurs at the radial nerve joint and the embryologist examine the primordial jump cells he observed the primordial jump cells migrate to the corners along the following structure is in mesonephric drug dorsal mesentery of mid gut dorsal mesentery of hind gut ventral mesentery and twice so primordial germ cell basically migrate to gonads through the dorsal mesentery of mid cut. 10 year of old by presenting with a swelling of legs, abdomen, puffiness of eyelids, he is suffering from edema due to renal disease, liver failure, nutritional deficiency, cardiac disease or asthma. Since this is a BCQ and we need to choose a basic or we say we need to choose the best answer in this question. So renal disease is going to be the correct option because in renal disease there is a puffiness of eyelids that is the major that we can see that it is a major symptom of that shows the renal disease while liver failure nutritional deficiency or cardiac disease can also cause the edema but the puffiness of eyelids is basic specific characteristic of renal disease so 28 or 25 year old woman reports this urine another symptom urinary uti gram stain this is the same question which is about this gram staining and it is due to characteristic of cell wall moving towards the other questions which one of the following is essential for primary structure of proteins Vendor wall forces, hydrogen bonds, ionic bonds, peptide bonds, disulfide bonds. Peptide bond is basically forms the primary structure of amino acid or primary structure of protein, which is a sequence of amino acid that are joined by the peptide bond. Concerning concept of disease prevention, which are the following of statement is correct. This is from the community medicine. And we need to remember the E answer is correct. Prepathogenesis is the preliminary interaction of agent host and environmental factors. 31 is about an example of positive feedback response in the body is control of thyroid hormone by anterior pituitary, control of body, body temperature, vasomotor center response to blood pressure, renal regulation of body water cascade of blood coagulation reactions. Cascade of blood coagulation reaction is basically an example of positive feedback response in which many of the blood clotting factors activate one another to cause more and more coagulation in the blood. Mrs. Ahmed considered the age of 45 years old. She was told by her consultant about which of the following conditions significantly associated with advanced maternal age chromosomal big packs, chromosomal down destruction, ring chromosomes, polypolarity, sister chromatic exchange. Chromosomal down destruction is basically the main genetic factor or genetic disease in which, they, which is characterized by or which is a risk factor for the advanced maternal age. Number 33 is about which of the following body fluid is called internal environment of the body. Lymph, CSF, intracellular fluid, extracellular fluid, transcellular fluid. So extracellular fluid is basically called the internal environment of the body because it contains plasma as well as interstitial fluid. 34 is this not an example of dried lipids, ketone bodies, choline, steroids, cholesterol and all of the above. 
ketone bodies is not an example of trilipids while squalene is steroids and cholesterol are example because squalene is a intermediate product of cholesterol synthesis now moving toward other question number 35 which of the following is an example of dependent variable smoking noise pollution extra exposure lung cancer and radiation now here we need to find the dependent variable which depends on other factors such as smoking noise pollution extra exposure and radiation can cause lung cancer so lung cancer is dependent upon these factors that's why is D is a factor. So feature of typical human neuron include rough ER develop, dendrites or extensor of soma. Nessel bodies are present in axon. It has a very small inactive nucleus, mitochondria absent in axon. So B is correct answer. Dendrites are basically extension of the soma. Attraction of drug towards receptor and its binding force is called efficacy, potency, affinity, therapeutic index, or bioavailability. So this is going to be affinity, which is the attraction of a drug and the binding capacity of a drug towards a receptor that determines the affinity. While efficacy is maximum response, potency is the response or minimum amount of drug required to produce a specific response. 38. A newborn baby is brought to the pediatric surgeon by his mother with a large tumor at the base of the spine. Doctor examined the tumor at this region and termed a sacrococcygeal teratoma. What is the most common neurological cause of this condition? Defective distribution of neural test cells. Failure of caudal neuroportic flows, incomplete regression of primitive state, deficiency of folic acid, or failure of separation of ectoderm. Number C is correct answer because due to incomplete closure of the primitive streaks, at the, the epiblast cells continue to migrate inside the primitive streak and can cause the sacrococcygeal teratoma. While the failure of caudal neuroport can cause spinal bifida, deficiency of folic acid can cause other such as neural tube defects. And failure of separation of ectoderm is another cause. Now, going toward the 39, the layer of connective tissue that surrounds the group of muscle fibers separating them into bundled fascicles is known as perimysium, sarcoplasm, epimysium, endomysium, or sarcolema. So, perimysium is basically the layer of a membrane that, that covers a bunch of muscle fibers and group them into the fascicles. We call them fascicles, while the epimysium covers whole of the muscle. After fertilization of all, the corpus luteum produces progesterone, which maintains the pregnancy. If the corpus luteum degenerates, then abortion occurs. Which of the following hormone maintains corpus luteum? HCG, HPL, and estradiol, alpha fetoprotein, or luteinizing hormone. So HCG, human coronary gonadotropin, basically maintains the D or B to prevent the degeneration of the corpus luteum. Which type of epithelium that lines the ducts of sweat gland, large ducts of exocrine glands? Transitional stratified fibroidal, simple fibroidal, stratified squamous, pseudo stratified columnar. So it's going to be the stratified fibroidal which lines the ducts of sweat glands and large ducts of exocrine glands. Number 42, enteral route of drug administration includes sublingual, intramuscular, subcutaneous, transdermal, and intravenous. So enteral refers to the drug passing through the mouth. So in, ma in sublingual, the drug is placed under the so sublingual is going to be the correct answer while other are the parenteral group root of administration as told just while discussing the microscopic feature of a skin explained that it contains few muscle cells with a little ground substance and abundant collagen fibers which are roughly interwoven suggesting of thermos what type of connective tissue does thermos consist of so this is from the histology and is asking about the thermos of the skin number a is about the loose areolar connective tissue number b regular connective tissue C dense regular con regular connective tissue and dense D is about the dense irregular connective tissue and adipose tissue. So the dermis of the skin contain dense irregular connective tissue. Now going to do 2044. A group of uh, first year students discussing the astrological slide of a bone under microscope. During discussion, they are interested in discussing the cells of bone, especially the osteocytes, which are of the following best described the osteocytes. They reside in the depression known as how shapes like uni, large multinucleated cells exclusively exclusively located at the surface of the bone and tissues reduced rough endoplasmic reticulum and golgi well developed rer and golgi complex so it's going to be the reduced rough endoplasmic reticulum and golgi the reason for this option to be correct is that the osteocytes are not residing in the hoshif's lapini these are th those were the cells of osteoclast while they are not multinucleated these are also uh, talking about the osteoclast while exclusively located at the surface of the bone, these are the osteoblasts. While reduced rough endoplasmic reticulum in Golgi, well developed ER, RER and Golgi complex. So this is, can be the 
number e cannot be the correct option because the osteocyte remain in the space is called lacuni and they remain inactive after the formation of the bone or the mineralization of the bone they remain trapped in the lacuni and they do not have any active function in synthesizing proteins and collagens for the bone so that's why they're they have reduced rough endoplasmic economic body now 45 is going to be about a young boy fall from water bike during road accident an orthopedic surgeon diagnosed the case of a dislocation of temporum temporum mandibular joint this is joint as an example of primary cartilaginous joint synovial joint secondary cartilaginous joint typical synovial joint or fibrous joint so temporum mandibular joint is also the joint of the bone which is when we which is in action when we talk or something we eat when our mouth is chewing anything so this joint is active in this type of synovial joint Number 46 of 20 year old visited her doctor with complaint of excessive sweating in her both palms even in the cold weather. Sweat glands are one of the appendages of the skin and are classified as compound tubular not Simple straight tubular glands, simple file tubular glands, simple branch tubular glands and compound acinar glands. So sweat glands are compound, sorry, simple quad tubular glands. Now moving towards the 47 which is about the, a newborn baby suffering from a congenital disease. Doctor said this is it is caused by a gene mutation. Mutation is basically an alteration in the structure of the brain is about the genetic part, RNA, protein, enzyme, or operon. So mutation is basically an alteration in the structure of genetic code that causes lead to alteration in the sequence of polypeptide chain. Now 48 is about the main complication of hypercholesterolemia which develops cardiovascular problem is angina pectoris, atherosclerosis, cardiac myopathy, my MI or none of the above. So the main complication of hypercholesterolemia is basically the arteriosclerosis because due to this arteriosclerosis, angina pectoris complicates. So angina pectoris is complication of atherosclerosis as well as cardiac myopathy and myocardial infarction. So basic primary cause of what causes hypercholesterolemia or causes of hypercholesterolemia is the arteriosclerosis. Now, as 20 year old doctor loves astrocytoma, a brain tumor, he asks the physician what is the astrocytoma. Doctor tells him that it is a tumor of a neuroglia astrocyte. He then asks if it is a tumor of neurons. Doctor tells him neurons cannot form after birth. Why neurons cannot form after birth? Because neurons are always excited, neurons cannot divide, neurons have low RMP, neurons form synapses, neurons have immunity. The correct option is going to be the B because neurons cannot divide after it is formed. It is formed. That's why if, a new, if there is a nervous damage in any part of the body, it cannot be reversed back or it cannot be cured. Which of the following system best describes homeostasis? No alteration despite new body requirement, clotting of blood in living blood vessels, maintaining a near constant internal environment, keeping the body in a fixed and unaltered state, marked alteration due to change external environment. This is going to be the C answer because homeostasis is a maintaining a near constant internal environment. Which one of the following is a millennium developmental goal? This is from the community medicine. It basically, basically describes a, to achieve a universal primary education. This is the goal of millennium development. Which one of the following organelles is involved in detoxification of substance in the cell? Smooth ER, ribosome, mitochondria of ER, and Golgi cocktail. So smooth and plasma reticulum is involved in the detoxification of substances in a cell. Now EPSP excited repose synaptic potentials occurs when more calcium ion leak out, potassium ion leakage is more, sodium channel are opened, hyperpolarization occurs, chloride ions enter neuron. So excitatory postsynaptic potential is basically the action potential that is generated in the postsynaptic neuron. No, now the action potential is generated by opening of the sodium channels. So opening of the sodium channel causes depolarization in the postsynaptic membrane. That's why sodium channels are opened in the postsynaptic membrane that causes EPSPS, while the other ones causes the hyperpolarization or inhibitory postsynaptic potential. Now 54 is which one of the following microorganism contain either DNA or RNA but not what? This is going to the bacteria and plant. Answer is there. Oh, sorry, viruses. Viruses contain either DNA or RNA and cannot contain both at a time. Now maximum response produced by a drug is called, we have discussed previously, it's going to be the efficacy. An anatomy professor during his lecture on the nervous system is explaining the types of neuron, the basis of morphology. Which of the following sites contain neuron after the bipolar neuron? So the bipolar neuron basically are present in the anterior horn of the spinal cord or they are the motor neurons. While the uni unipolar, pseudo unipolar neurons are present in the sensory area such as dorsal horn of the spinal cord or there could be the nasal mucosa because this is a sensory, nasal mucosa is a sensory 
mucosa and it contains unipolar neurons mycobacterium tuberculosis when cause infection in any tissue most likely cause which of the following pathological process so mycobacterium tu tuberculosis so remember that in tuberculosis there is a gang there is a caseating necrosis so caseation necrosis is the main characteristic of mycobacterium tuberculosis a new baby born suffering from the difficulty in breathing her distal part of the body becomes cyanose the sign the consultant concluded that there is no proper synthesis of lung surfactant in this clinical condition which type of phospholipid becomes sufficient phosphatidyl inositol cardiolefin phosphatidyl choline phosphatidyl serine phosphatidyl ethanolamine in lung surfactant which is dipalmatyl lies a dipalmatyl of phosphatidyl choline so the deficiency of phosphatidyl choline can cause respiratory distress syndrome in neonates the movement of water across the membrane from an area of low solute con concentration to area of high solute concentration is known as simple it is deep osmosis now moving to number 60 a 35 year old male visited a one month after spinal cord injury with complaint related to sympathetic nervous system damage which one spinal segment is suspected to be involved in this patient c1 to s5 c8 to t1 t1 to l2 t6 to l5 t1 to s1 so in sympathetic nervous system damage sympathetic nervous system is formed by the pre-ganglionic post and post-ganglionic fibers from the T1 to L2 spinal segment. This is also called thoracolumbar spinal segment or thoracolumbar system. Plasma half-life of a drug is directly proportional to clearance, indirectly proportional to plasma drug concentration, indirectly proportional to volume of distribution, directly proportional to plasma drug concentration or directly proportional to volume of distribution. So this question is very confusing and the correct answer is going to be the number E which is that plasma half life is directly proportional to volume of distribution. Now, with why not A is the correct answer? Because the clearance causes the half life to decrease. Half life is basically what? It is a time required for a drug concentration to, to remain a half or to reduce by half. So if the drug is cleared very very if the clearance of the drug is very fast, so the half life will decrease. Means that it would take less time for a drug to need to decrease in the plasma. Now so A is not the answer in directly proportional plasma drug concentration. It is not the case in the plasma half-life indirectly proportional to volume of distribution. If the volume volume of distribution basically refers to the vo volume of a extracellular matrix or volume of a plasma or we can say interstitial fluid in which there is a drug is absorbed. Such as if the drug is present in extracellular matrix in interstitial fluid, we say the drug is distributed to, towards the body compartments. So volume if volume of distribution is high. So there will be less clearance of a drug. So the half-life will be in, increased. It would take more time for a drug to, to, to decrease by half. So therefore, C is not the answer. Why? C says directly proportional to plasma drug concentration. This is not the case. So E says directly proportional to volume of distribution, which is the answer we have discussed. Now, 62 is during histology practical the students were asked to prepare a slide of a GID section for visualization under the microscope most commonly used gen for a study of a slide under light microscope is hematoxylin and eosin H and E for short can be used is most commonly used for the preparation of the slides in the mind for the visualization under microscope now 63 which of the following does not contain phosphate nucleoside ATP DNA RNA nucleotide so nucleoside does not contain Phosphate because it is formed by the phosphate, it is formed by ribose or deoxyribose sugar, pentose sugar, plus it is formed by nitrogenous base. Or no, and no phosphate can is involved in forming nucleoside. While well, when for, when phosphate is attached to nucleoside, it forms nucleotide. No. Moving further, we have point mutation involves duplication, insertion change in two base pair, deletion change in single base pair. So point mutation is basically change in single base pair. An individual who has two or same allele is said to be heterozygous, diplozygous, heterologous, homozygous, homologous. An individual who has two of the same allele is said to be homozygous. In a case of hypertension, since here, which of the following cellular alteration will most likely cause in, occur in myocardium. So this is a question which, which will check the concept of the students and it's very interesting. So number A is about both hyperplasia and hypertrophy, B metaplasia, C hypertrophy, D hyperplasia or E atrophy. Most of the students will choose both hyperplasia and hypertrophy, but it's not the case. It's going to be hypertrophy because the cell, cell or we say myocytes of the myocardium or heart cannot divide. They only hypertrophy, they increase in size, they increase in diameter when the workload is increased with the heart. 
67 endoscopic bioscopy bios bi biopsy taken from a lower esophageal mucosa as shown the presence of columnar epithelium with goblet cells which of the following mucosal alteration is most likely represented by these findings so this is going to be number a metaplasia b dysplasia or c hyperplasia or d carcinoma or ischemia so metaplasia is, is the answer which is because metaplasia is conversion of one cell type or one type of epithelium to another type of epithelium is called metaplasia such as the esophagus has a lower esophagus base it's more specifically has cuboidal cuboidal epithelium simple cuboidal epithelium when there is a during development but after the exposure to acids they evolve they metaplize and form the columnar epithelium that's why we call it metaplasia so the main side of hysterified cholesterol is parent liver testes intestine and adrenal cortex it's going to be the liver because liver is the main metabolic center of the body why not why not in brain because in brain there is no alkate enzyme that forms the cholesterol esters the cholesterol remains free free in the free form in the brain severity of a disease mild moderate and severe or knowledge or level of knowledge in example of continuous variable ordinable ordinal variable quantitative variable discrete variable or nominal variable so it's going to be the discrete variable because these are the one specific and cannot be formed continuous such as uh, skin color which is the continuous variable skin color in the some has uh, very light some is dark some is uh, lit, uh, light dark or we can say some has a uh, fair ex fair facial color that's why except and by the level of disease or severity of disease is discrete variable now 70 shows which macromolecule molecule in mineral is responsible for initiating the heartbeat potassium help Aum, sodium, phosphorus, or magnesium. So it's going to be the calcium. Why? Why not sodium or why not potassium? Because in heart there are two types of system. First one is the conducting system of the heart. Second one is the myocardium. So there are two other two basic two basically two action potential generated being generated in these two systems. In conducting system we, which include S node, a, a V node, or Purkinje fibers. So these are type of the specialized myocardium or myofibrils. So the calcium basically enters into the cell or myocyte of the SA node that causes the that causes depolarization. While in myocardium, it is a muscle cell layer, muscle myocyte. In that sodium enters to cause depolarization. So the heartbeat is initiated by SA node. That's why we choose the calcium. Now sodium. Hypoxia is extremely important and it's common cause of cell injury and death. The hypoxic cause of cell injury include anemia, the cold, blood loss, anemia, anem ischemia, anemia and blood loss, mechanical trauma, the cold loss, blood loss, burns, cardiorespiratory failure, the cold, blood loss, cardiorespiratory failure. So it's going to be the number B which includes ischemia, anemia and blood loss because in ischemia there is a blockage of uh, blood or, or the, 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 the tissues starve for the oxygen to so causes hypoxia. While anemia also, in anemia there is a decreased ability of blood cells to carry oxygen leading to hypoxia while blood dose is also decreased in the volume of blood that leads to the hypoxia. Now Angel gave a definition to completely elaborate the definition, definition of health and considering a person as a whole this was a model called social model, biological model, anthropology, biopsychosocial model, feedback loops. So this is from the biomedical ethics and it's going to the biopsychosocial model. A newborn baby girl was born with hema and hema and mass of the facial region, which is considered to be due to defective development of them there, which is responsible for blood cells and blood vessel formation. So number eight, neuroectoderm, neural crest cells, endoderm, ectoderm, mesoderm. Now most of the students will be confused that they are talking about or they are asking about the germ layer, which is responsible for these types of congenital anomalies. So in there are three basic germ layers, which is ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. But the craniofacial and blood vessel formation is also assist or is also formed by the another type of germ layer which is fourth germ layer these are the neural crest cells neural crest cells are also considered as fourth germ layer of the human body now we are going to discuss the regarding level of prevention which of the following is most effective Number eight, tertiary prevention, secondary prevention, C preventive prevention, or population prevention, or primary prevention. So tertiary pre prevention is basically the most cost effective of the level of prevention. General physician wants to give IM injection to a young boy having a high grade fever, but 
best site for intramuscular injection is deltoid muscle, vesicular even max site, triangular, bipinet, unipinet, circumpinet, or multipinet. The deltoid muscle is multipinet because the, its fascicles or fibers run in many direction. The body is divided into anterior and posterior halves by which of the following imaginary plan: mesogyatal plan, coronal plan, left median plan, right median plan, or paramedial plan. So the body is divided into post anterior and posterior halves by the coronal plan. 77. The type of intracellular attachment that anchors and stabilizes the cell and helps them to resist stretching and twisting forces in which the in which of the following. So this is asking about the cap junctions. Number A, desmosomes, hemidesmosomes, gap junction, focal adhesion, tight junction. So the, this is the type of intracellular attachment, desmosomes, hemidesmosomes basically attach to the basement membrane, while the gap junction are the connection between the two cells that, that assist in exchange of ions, while focal adhesion and tight junction is on the apices of the epithelial cells. So it's going to be the desmosomes, which forms the intracellular junction and help in resisting the Twisting forces. Petica is uh, best defined as skin hemorrhages appear as minute, as minute spots measuring 1 to 2 millimeter, subcutaneous hemorrhages measuring 12 centimeter, subcutaneous edema is associated with heart failure, serosal hemorrhages appear as palpable spot during measuring 6 to 20 millimeter, bleeding inside the pericardial cavity. So, petica are the skin hemorrhages appearing as minute spot measuring 1 to 2, 1 to 2 millimeter. So, this is, can be caused by the deficiency of platelet in thrombocytopenia. Which of the following minerals is influx into cell due to concentration gradient? This is also the conceptual question and we need to apply the knowledge of the concentration gradient in this question because some some minerals are outside the cell are in high quantity, high concentration while some minerals inside the cell are in high concentration. So we have a basic knowledge of a diffusion that, that if a, the mineral will move from the high concentration gradient to towards the low concentration gradient. Now, answer for this is the, about the sodium ions because why not phosphorus ion? Because phosphorus ion, it's asking about the influx. Phosphorus ion is in, inside the cell in high concentration while it will move outside the cell passively. Sulfur is also inside the cell while magnesium is also inside the cell. While calcium is in the extracellular matrix. Matlab, it means that it's outside the cell. But the concentration gradient of the sodium is higher than the calcium. That's why sodium moves more than the calcium into the cell. Autonomy is a right to information and justice, privacy, non malficient self determination of beneficence. So it's from the biomedical ethics, it's about the autonomy, is about the right to information and self determination. Nutritionally essential amino acid is serine, alanine, valine, tyrosine, cysteine. It's going to be the valine. Valine is an essential amino acid. Reason why the regeneration of a nerve fiber can occur only in PNS and not in CNS. A. Shawn cells are present in only in PNS. Oligodendrocytes can form myelin sheet. Shawn cells don't release nerve growth factors. Oligodendrocytes are present in PNS. Nerve growth stimulators are released in CNS. Now the correct answer for this is going to be the A. Why not B, C or D, E? Because Shawn cells are only present in the PNS, peripheral nervous system, and not present in the central nervous system. They are responsible for myelination of peripheral nervous system. While oligodendrocytes are responsible for formation of myelin sheet in, in the CNS, central nervous system, that's why. Which of the following is not conjugate protein? Visual purple, albumin, proteoglycan, LDL, or glycoprotein? So it's going to be albumin. Albumin is a simple protein, not a conjugate protein. So I report the form of genetic exchange in which donor DNA is introduced and recipient by the bacterial, bacterial virus or bacteriophage is conjugation, transfection, transduction, transposition, or transformation. So this form of genetic exchange is called transduction, which is provoked by the sort of some sort of vector, which is a bacteriophage. A young man has applied body spray, so he feels that fragrance has spread to his entire room. Which mechanism of transport comes into your mind for this phenomenon? So this is a simple question, and it's going to be simple diffusion. The polymerase chain reaction is it's a RNA sequencing technique, it's a DNA sequencing technique, it's a DNA degradation technique, it's RNA amplification technique, or it's DNA amplification technique. So it's DNA amplification technique, polymerase chain reaction. Phase two reaction include oxidation, dealkylation, hydroxylation, deamination, or glucoronization. It include glucoronization. While the oxidation and hydroxylation is from the 
phase 1 and DL ligation and deamination is not in present in the metabolism of drugs. So deglucuronization is very phase 2 reaction. Astrological section is visualized by the student. The chemical axis visualize the cells responsible for the peripheral demyelinating, demyelinating disease. Which one of the following cells nervous system are responsible for such clinical conditions? Number A, astrocytes, microglial cells, oligodendrocytes, satellite cell or Sean cell. Since this is going to be the peripheral demyelination disease, it's the which the cells responsible for the peripheral demyelination are the Sean cells. So deficiency of Sean cells can cause peripheral demyelinating disease. The random thermal movement of molecule from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration is called osmosis, counter transport, simple diffusion, co transport of capillary diffusion. It's a simple answer which is a simple diffusion. The chromosomal analysis reveals 47XYY karyotype, which of the following description best fits in this abnormality. Sex chromosomal triploidy, a female with Turner syndrome, autosomal trisomy, a male with a clinic center syndrome, or Down syndrome. It's going to be the number A, which is a sex chromosomal triploidy. In Turner syndrome, there is a deficiency of, or there is a monosomy, or we say one only one X chromosome in the female, but autosomal trisomy. These X, Y, Y are sex chromosomes, so this can be the autosomal trisomy. While in Klein-Tefelter syndrome, it's basically the sequencing would be X, X, and Y. In Down syndrome, there is only X, X, and X trisomy 21. And Down, sorry, Down syndrome is autosomal trisomy and not a sex chromosome trisomy. So it is going to be sex chromosome trisomy. 9100 issue with the uh, histological feature like presence of triad along with the multiple nuclei at the periphery and striation cardiac muscle and smooth muscle, cardiac muscle, skeletal, cardiac muscle, skeletal muscle, skeletal muscle, skeletal muscle, smooth muscle. So this is going to be talking about the skeletal muscle because they have multiple nuclei which are around the periphery and they have also triad. While cardiac muscle don't have multiple nuclei at the periphery. Two major part of computer are it's a simple which is going to be hardware and software which disease are in the submerged portion of iceberg. This is from the community medicine and it's going to be scabies or leishmaniasis, hypertension, malaria or cancer. It's going to be hypertension. It's going to be talk about the iceberg. In the submerged portion of the iceberg, hypertension is the crack up. Now this is going to be the last question. The role of ribosomes in protein synthesis is Provide anticodons, provide amino acids, provide genetic cords, identify genetic cords, or provide workbench. So ribosome basically provide workbench on which there is an attachment of tRNA which contain amino acids and there is an attachment of RNA, M messenger RNA. So it's basically providing workbench. 95, the power of the cell is, it's a simple question which is going to be the mitochondria. Now we have reached end to towards this session and hope you like this video and if you like share and share it and subscribe to the channel we have also a website which is www.mbbsonlineactia.tc.com on which you can visit and can get a ton of lectures from the lecture osmosis free of the cost we have also placed multiple apps such as anatomy atlas from the visible anatomy free of cost on our website you can download from there or if you have any query you can contact contact us on our email lumps online 2021 at gmail.com thank you for watching we'll see you in next